Every Saturday at Parks Range, there are a group of auto enthusiasts that gather around a small dirt track to watch what in many cases looks like a bunch of old beat up cars battle it out. Speed's not the case, because the track is the biggest obstacle. It's too short in many cases to get much speed, and the cars must take a beating just to make it around once. Before the race day begins, heavy equipment is used to get the water off the track and smooth it out, but by the end of a couple of races, dips begin to form, and then the races get it more exciting for the fans. To get a good perspective of what it's like to race, I tried my hand at it this past weekend. There's just no way to describe it. If you've ever raced on a flat track, you still have no idea of what it's like to complete a few laps on this mud track. If it rains, and it did on Saturday, it gets worse, and you feel as if you're carrying about half the track on your body. It's nothing unusual to get a big glob of mud right in your face, obstructing your vision until you can't wipe it off. The racers make up for the manners that the track lacks, though. It's nothing unusual for a car to stall, and then another racer pull in behind him and give him a push to get him started again. And after being airborne a couple of times, that's likely, and you don't get upset if your car stalls. But the whole idea with all the drivers in the BG AAA club is to have fun, both on the track and off. They build cars together, they race them together, and then after the races, they have parties together. A little crack up means nothing. To give you an example, being new on the track, I was very likely to make a mistake. Well, driving number 30, an orange bug, I did. Now that guy that I took off the track with me, Amos Parker, was sitting in his car waving at me sitting on the hill. The races are open to the public every Saturday at Parks Range, and if you like racing, you'll see an afternoon full of it.